Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Baldur's Gate 3. We have just arrived at the Last Light Inn. So this is like in the in the Shadow Cursed Realms. We found Jahira. For those of you who've played the original games will know who Jahira is. She looks older. Um, I actually... Whoops. Oh, the game is auto-saving. I actually think they didn't do a bad job uh, with her. I think the voice actor sounds a little bit off, but overall, it's actually, you know, similar enough, you know, given it's a different person doing the voice acting, I enjoy it. Dark Maw the Wicked. Draw more the Wicked, straight from the storybooks. Huh. It took a veritable army to run him from the Wood of Sharp Teeth. Who in the hell's brought Premium him Premium trinkets and doodahs! The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the uh. safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Please don't make me unequip my weapons, I would be very upset. Okay, let's talk to the people here. Let's head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. Did you notice that this guy has the same color as Scratch? Hmm. The Hellion's Heart. We found Infernal Iron, we should take it to Damon. Is he here? He is here. Are these the ox from the Druid Grove? God damn it! I'm gonna have to spend a, a potion of speak with animals, but I ugh. I don't want to spend it now. I'm gonna wait. Let, let me see. How how much does it cost to craft one? Acorn truffle. It's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So, animal speaking. Even if I kind of waste one, I think it's okay. I don't have one already, right? No, I don't. Okay. Mm, it's toasty in here. <laughs> Still in paper. Yeah, I remember you from the Druid's Grove. Are you ready to reveal your secrets yet? Not for you <clears throat> to know. Hmm. Let's go for persuasion. Ah, come on. Now you've piqued my curiosity. Fourteen, this should be enough. Right, game? Thank you, game. Well... Come close. Your mind to mine. Oh, God! Wait, what? What the hell? Are you satisfied? Not really, dude. Yeah, those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. What are you, really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Is he a wizard? Like, <clears throat> I... Yeah, whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. All I wanted was a bit of pain. A good brushing and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Oh, what did I do? What is that? It's it's an ooze that took the form of of the ox, I guess. Okay. Extra attack, caustic strikes. This creature attack does additional acid damage and may inflict paralyzed. Okay, we have to be careful about that. 
is very resistant to slashing and lightning and is immune to acids. High stats. Hmm. Okay. On the victor's path. How do I want to handle this? I'm not going to use my hex because I imagine I'm going to use friends throughout this area. We're going to be talking to a lot of people. Let's gain some distance here. Camera, thank you. Actually, maybe you do something first. He has a lot of HP. I want to see what it does. And maybe even get a spiritual weapon to tank some damage here. Let's see what it goes first with the knockback. Okay, 24 damage. So I want the weapon back there. Is this acid on the ground? It is acid on the ground. Okay, maybe he'll focus on that. And you can stay like... Go there. Sure, let's minimize, let's make it tank. Uh, I don't know if you can daze. Apparently you can daze a slime. Or an ooze, whatever. Uh, Lazel. Let's go for a Hunter's Mark. Okay. So, this is the problem. I don't know if I can reach that, that place or not. Be oh, actually I can by looking over here. Because the acid turns the, the, um, the path red. So I don't know if I can reach it or not. Or wait, I think too far is like a purple pinkish line. And this one is just red. Uh, okay, red and pinkish. Okay. <clears throat> so I think we can do this. Mm-hmm. Sure. Ahem. <laughs> Silence. Let's go for more damage here with Action Surge. Can I frighten it? He saved, but it seems like I can. You gotta be very careful not to target the weapon. Immune to Frightened. Okay. Well, at least now I know. Uh, thunder Resistance. Because of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm thinking Scorching Ray. Weak. Oh, don't go there. You only have 10 hit points. Okay, thank God. Just go away. I don't want that guy to die. <clears throat> Just Sacred Flame. What do you mean not enough movement? It's a ranged attack. This game can be so weird sometimes. This is my time. This is my time. Let's not push him back now. Okay. She's dead. God, dudes. What is the, the hit chance on this guy? Or the attack bonus? Wait, what? Wait, so he missed and she got hit. What? Am I missing something or is this just buggy? Because he missed me.
Okay, I think this is not working correctly. I think that if he hits with the attack, then the acid damage should also come through. Not if you miss. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I will ascend. Okay. I am gonna have a short rest anyway, so... Just going for extra damage here. Not trying to frighten. And I suppose we can go for magic missiles. 18 HP, but we still play first, so I think this is enough. Oh, 1 HP, come on. Don't get yourself killed. So... <laughs> Let's look at this amazing AI. <clears throat> the guy started here, he dashed, he went over there. Next turn, he dashed, and he went back to where he was. <clears throat> okay. On the victor's path. Must be too high of an IQ play for my small brain. Not to go poking bears. They never said anything about Oxford. True enough, true enough. Oh, Shapeshifter's boon. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a plus 1d4 bonus to all checks. I guess the only person disguising themselves here is Shadowheart. Hat of Fire Acuity. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain arcane acuity for two turns. Affected entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per turn remaining. This is actually not bad. Just when I think <clears throat> I've seen it all, at least it's dead now. now Let me restate this. This is good. When the weather gains lightning charges, they also gain three temporary hit points. Yeah, it's also nice, but this is better. What I'm wondering is, how does this work with Scorching Ray? Because Scorching Ray hits three times. So if it hits three times, I should get Arcane Acuity... Uh, sorry. I should get Arcane Acuity for six turns. And that's quite good. It is said some wizard hats grant the power to keep your head cool, both literally and figuratively. I could also give it to Will, but he's not going to be using Scorching Ray that much. Yeah, sexy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you all have your hats. Pretty good. What was the other item I picked up? I've, oh, right, the ring, ring. Elements does not arrive. The ring. Short rest. You were making quite a ruckus over there. Hope everything's all right. Everything is all right, my friend. Sure, Sub Damon. I thought it was you. Saving my skin again, I see. Never seen a shapeshifted ox before. But I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. I'm glad to see you're all right. The way here was anything but easy, eh? A makeshift harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. Oh. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working. I'm happy to help. I wonder if we can use <clears throat> Infernal Iron for something else other than than Karlak. Interesting materials, what do you mean? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a Devil's Smithy. It should have been awful. Infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. Mm. I'll make something incredible. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, we have a lot of options. 
I found some hellish masks. Can you make anything of these? Using something that's already fabricated is tough, but I can try. How many do you have? I mean, I've got, I've got four. No, I have four. Okay, wait. Fair enough. I'll hang on they to them for now. If you want me to have another look, you know where to find me. Okay, let me quick save this and see what it does. But I'm I'm pretty sure I have four masks. I gave one to each person. Assuming we're talking about the devil foil masks. Yeah, one, two. Three. Four. I have four. Defender of the Is he talking about a different kind of mask? No, that's the only one I have. Okay, let's see what it does. Using something that's already fabricated is tough. Yeah, I have three. I don't know why I can't say that I have four, but maybe three is the maximum. Hmm. I thought I sniffed American scent somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. American masks are brittle, so what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. But aren't you going to tell me what you're going to make before I give you the materials? I guess not. And this is why you quick save before taking these decisions. There. Be careful who sees you using that. You might draw the wrong sort of eyes. You are a very quick smith, man. Orthon explosive. What? You gave me these 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 crappy things? Is that Deals fire and thunder damage to nearby objects and knocks them back. You're joking. <laughs> what do you do with one Need mask? Anything? Using something that's already fabricated is Here's one. Hmm. I thought American mask there. He just makes these orthon explosives. It's a grenade with a skull on top. What is the point? Okay, I'm gonna quick load. I'm gonna hold on to my masks. <laughs> That's very strange. I mean, I have no use for the masks with my current party because I think they decrease um, charisma, wisdom and stuff. I can actually test it out. I assume that if more than one person has the mask on, it's gonna get the buff. Okay, let me see. So <clears throat> here's a mask for you. And here's a mask for you. Yeah, there you go. Infernal Legion. You are one, you are a legion. Without personality or individuality, born only to fight. When within 20 meters of another creature wearing a Maragon's mask, strength increases by one. And intelligence, wisdom and charisma decrease by one per nearby mask. Yeah, so this would really... I would go so far as to say as this will never be useful, but... If you have, like, a bunch of people focused on strength, it, it it may prove worthy. But you're gonna be losing out on saving throws. Eh, I guess it's kind of whatever. For now, we'll, we're gonna keep them. What is my hat? Here. Okay. What else you do? Need anything? Uh... I think I found a material you can work with. What can you make of it? What is it? Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. What is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. It should say, like in front of the line, like between brackets, just say something something iron, whatever. To let me know what the material is. There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Same message as before. Flawed hell dusk armor. What did I give? Do I know? I have no idea what I gave him. Ooh, damn. A heavy armor. 
lesser infernal retribution. When we are hit by an, a foe within two meters, it might it might take one d4 fire damage. Superior plate, you take one less piercing damage. <laughs> it's not that interesting, and I don't know what it used. Did it use adamant and slag? Because I had two of these. Need anything? Okay, let's see if that's it. It's perfect. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, no. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't know what I'm using. Flawed Helldusk Helmet. Magical durability. The wielder has a plus two bonus saving throws against spells and constitution saving throws plus one. It's kind of whatever. Need anything? Do I have more of this material? Apparently, I do. Dude. <laughs> well, well, well. I knew I smelled something. Okay. Flawed Helda's gloves. No, still adamant in slag over there. Your weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 fire damage. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1d4 necrotic damage and can, can possibly inflict bleeding. These are not that bad, but this one is better still. The pride of the okay. gate. I'm, I'm just anything? testing this out. I'm gonna um, load the game because I don't know what materials I'm using and I don't like just losing materials not knowing what I'm losing. Uh, okay, so we're gonna just quick save here. He, he has nothing else. Oh, was it the Infernal Iron? Maybe I was giving him Infernal Iron now that I think of it. Eh, if that's what he makes with it, it's kind of... It's not very good. I was expecting something better, honestly. Let me see, how much do I have? Infernal... I have alloy and iron. I have one alloy. What? And I only have one iron as well. Maybe she has more? What the goddamn man. Jesus, this this search is not easy to use. Infernal iron. She also has one. Ah, okay. So I have one. She Jesus. Just she has one. So two irons and one alloy. I'm guessing that's the materials we used. Okay. So I don't want to use them now. Need anything? In any case, we saw what the items were. I found this metal in a place called Grimforge. What do you make of it? Is he gonna consume it as well? I'm gonna be upset. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. <laughs> and again, I don't know what it is. <laughs> It's probably another one of the infernal alloys or something. I'm guessing I'm gonna get the same item again. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, apologies for the... Um, for the loadings here, but... It, 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 if the game just said, like, in front of the dialogue options... I, I will demonstrate what I mean. Because I think they do this for other options. But not here, I don't know why. This is a this is a flaw in my opinion. Defender of the people. So yeah, what I'm talking about is Need anything? It should say like I found this metal in a place called Grimford, what do you make of it? And then like brackets and say infernal alloy. For example. But it doesn't. Same thing here, it should say the name of the mask. Well, let's see what you have. Oh. You have Plus two weapons. A sword of life stealing. Life stealing critical. On a critical hit, the target takes an extra 1d10 necrotic damage. As long as it isn't a concert or an undead, you also gain 10 hit temporary hit points. This is a very good weapon. It's a short sword, ah. Arrow of aberration slaying. Very rare. Deals double damage to aberrations. Yeah. Swordmaster Gloves, you become proficient with short swords, long swords and great swords. 
In addition, you gain a plus one bonus to melee attack rolls. This is a, a very decent item. This is the typical stuff. 15 medium armor plus one bonus to the exercise setting those in checks would be cool for thieving duties. Is this the same one? It is the same one. Hide armor, padded armor, dark fire short bow, plus two weapon, grants resistance to fire damage, grants resistance to cold damage, and haste. Okay, this could be a very powerful item to have on like Lazel or something. Being able to cast haste and also getting two resistances? That's very good. Harmonium Halberd. Strength plus two. Ah, a penalty to intelligence and wisdom. Interesting. This could be interesting indeed. Charge bound Warhammer. This hammer's magical powers only function if it's bound to an Eldritch Knight or is a Warlock's Pact Weapon. Plus one bonus to damage and attack rolls, deals an additional 1d6 lightning damage, but it is only a plus one weapon. Thermal Dynamo Axe. Whenever you deal damage with this weapon, you gain two turns of heat. Remind me. Engulfed by a vengeful fire, takes 1d4 fire damage each turn, but can use heat convergence. Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. The next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. Doesn't sound very interesting. Sword of Clutching Umbra. Shadow Soaked Blow. Deals an extra 1d6 psychic. Add your proficiency bonus to the damage. That's cool. Moreover, if the attack hits, it deals an additional psychic damage. Does not break concealment. Okay, this is clearly an assassin weapon. <clears throat> and a cool one at that. Thorn Blade, Scimitar. Poisonous Synergy. While concentrating on melee weapon attacks, deal an additional 1d4 poison damage. And it also has Ensnaring Strike. Right. Arrow of many target. Deal an additional half damage to three other targets in range. Cure your target of poison paralysis or blindness. Teleport wherever you fire this arrow. I think I want these two. A bunch of other things. These are just plus ones. Wait, what is this one? Oh, Grand Hunter's Mark. Arrow of Darkness. I'm not sure if these kinds of effects should be tied to arrows. I think that's a bit too powerful, but... Um, okay, so we're gonna pay... Cell wares. Ooh. Okay. Well, we got all of his money, basically. I'm not sure if this is better than what Lazel has. Advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes, plus the strength saving throw. This is very good. But it is situational. And this one is just always good. Hmm. I also like this, plus two to strength. Intelligence and wisdom. I'll be here if you need anything else. Let me see. What am I to do? Yeah, she would lose a saving throw here and a saving throw there. I think I'm gonna stick with what I have. Yeah. Okay. Well, we sold a lot of wares. We made some money here. There is another merchant. Quartermaster Tally. Here. Need at the ready. I'm checking things out. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Oh. Anything I could take off your hands at no cost to myself. Nice. 
cheeky. But since you're asking, what? <laughs> a supply pack. Is that all? Okay. Uh, type. Send to camp. And latest. Send to Lazel. Give me just a second. I need to turn on a fan because it's way too hot in here. And I'm back. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Let's see what she has. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. What do you have? A shield of devotion. Ooh, additional spell slot. You gain a one level one spell slot. Shield bash. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone unless they succeed at the extra saving throw. And it also grants you aid. I always like any way to get extra... Um, Extra spell slots. I may want this. It doesn't work with the Warlock though, right? I, I really doubt it. But for Gale it would be a good item. For, for Shadowheart it would be a good item. Incandescent Staff. Range spell attack plus one and grants resistance to fire damage. It also grants me Firebolt and Fireball. It is good. It is good. Make... No mistake about it. But I think I prefer the one I have currently on my character. And I think I also prefer the one that Gale has for him. Advantage on wisdom saving throw checks and grants me the shield spell. This is useful. Protection from missiles. 10 turns. Amplifier reflexes to become better content with incoming missiles. Ranged weapon attacks against you have disadvantage and their damage is halved. Not gonna pick a glove just because of that. Two weapon fighting. When you make an attack with your offhand weapon, you can add an ability modifier to the damage of the attack. Okay. That's good. Flaming Revenge. On a successful saving throw against a foe's spell, deal 4 to 7 fire damage to them. That's interesting. Mine is better. Okay. The Mighty Cloth. Bull Strength. You gain Bull Strength and increase your Strength score by 2 to a maximum of 20. Unwavering Bull. You cannot be pushed against your will and have an advantage on saving throws against being restrained. And you also get Bull Rush. Charge forward and possibly knock your foes back 3 meters. Okay. I think this could be like a cool item for a warlock of a warlock of the blade pact or something. Shade clinger armor. While obscure, the wearer has advantage on saving throws. Stealth plus one. Bark skin armor. You are invested with the power of the meadows and woods of the land and have the effect of bark skin, increasing your armor class to sixteen. Okay. That's just... Oh, it's medium armor. Ah, it's medium armor. In that case, it's whatever. Hat of uninhibited Kushigo. Lay bare their weakness. After dealing damage with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains a plus one bonus to their spell save DC until the end of their turn. I don't, do monks have DC save spells? Hmm. Defender Great Axe. Defensive attack. When making your first attack of the round, you can reduce this weapon's enchantment by one to increase your armor class and saving throw bonus by one. Kind of a peculiar weapon, isn't it? It's not bad. Become a plus one enchanted weapon, but get plus one AC and plus one to saving throws. That's cool. Some scrolls here. Break your target's concentration and silence it. <laughs> this seems very powerful to me. Arrow of solving. More likely than not, I'm gonna forget that I have these and never use them, but whatever. 
Cloak of Protection. Ah, oh, this I am gonna purchase. You bet your butt I will. Plus one stuff. Some arrows. Okay. Take my money. And... I have no more wares. Okay. Okay. Not that much, but... Oh, right. So why do I want about... What do I want to do with this? I think I want to purchase this. I mean, I have money for something, right? Or, uh, sorry, I have money for a reason, right? So I might as well just purchase something. Okay, give me that. Anything I can give you to sweeten the deal. Like some trash I may have lying around. A crystal wall, take it. <laughs> a hammer. Tong tongs. Mortar. I'm gonna keep this one. One rope, because I don't know I have two. No, just one. Thank you. Okay. Take care now. Let's let's test this out. So first of all, these two are for Lazel. This is for Lazel. Now I only have two spell slots. Uh -huh, okay, okay, okay. So it could still be interesting for me to be able to cast Hex, for example. I may want this because I, I always like casting Hex. And Gale already has more spell slots than me. But at the same time, being critical strike immune. Yeah, and this also grants aid. No, but aid is actually good. Wait. Aid is actually good. 10 hit points. Increase your hit point maximum by 10. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to use this. Yep, 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 yep. Just about. Just about. We hang or do I give this to maybe Shadow Heart? And he can just have better saving throws, perhaps? When a melee attack misses you. Sorry, I have to think. She is more likely to be in danger than Gale. Under normal circumstances, so let's do this. Oh, I have the magic touch. Or should you have Before that, actually? Heroism. But it's an action, requires concentration, it's not gonna happen. Okay, so you can take the one with extra saving throws. Okay. I like it, I'm happy with this. And then Lazel. She has some new toys. Awesome. 19 AC. A blood-soaked cloak. I like it. I bet they're close. Okay, 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 okay. Watching. I am happy with this. I guess this is gonna be an episode of walking around and figuring stuff out here. Sure. Skywin. True soul, I believe. How fortunate we are to have you among us. Okay, she's so just a generic NPC. Chenti. Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. Okay, generic. Ellendale. Take a stroll, have a drink. Generic. Manus. Pardon, but I'm no mind for small. Generic. Okay. Steel. These two, I imagine they have something I to say, maybe? Hey! Yep. That's close enough. Artifact or no? I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. <laughs> you 
Yeah, I expected a bit more decorum from a flaming fist soldier. Want me to shine your boots while I'm at it? Easy. He's a bit on edge since the uh incident. A bit on edge, my ass. Not that you'll give a triple shot, Dan. But we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Mm. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's oh. Gate himself. That's my father. I think. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I was dead in the aftermath. I don't suppose Councillor Floric made it all the way here. Sure did. For all the good that does us. Okay. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a god's damned counselor to get room and board around here. Yeah, he's very on edge. Um, our arses. Our arses. Never thought I'd see the day Jahira shows mercy to a true soul. Or whatever it is you are. Did you guys see that flying dagger, like, behind the guy? <laughs> Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. I don't really understand how a barricade is gonna keep shadows out, but okay. Good to see a friendly face. Nothing. What about you? I think it's staring out into the dark so much as doing something to my eyes. Okay, just They're generic chatter. Royal, Did you hear I trust you? I trust you. But I'll be damned if a bug brain doesn't creep me out. Okay. Okay. So, what about you, Terradicia? <clears throat> a light crossbow plus. Oh, I can just From pick it up. You can almost pretend Isabel's light is the sun. Generic. Okay. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. We've spoken to Anthony. Yeah. Surprises. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still thinking about the shield option. Because Gale is more likely to be well protected than 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 Will. Like with mirror images and misty step and the fact that he's not starting conversations. Dennis. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna try it out. Okay, this looks like a quest. Please, I just want to be alone. She's very bright. Or ah, maybe it's because we have daylight, okay. I remember you, Bex, right? What where's your man? It was so dark, I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up, cut us up, said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away, but my love, Dennis. Martin Dole, Jesus, Rocha. she takes so long to speak. <laughs> How did you manage to get away? I've always been good at running. Unlike Dennis. I didn't realize one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Uh huh. Is there anything I can do to help? Not unless you can bring him back. Can you? Maybe. I will find Dennis and bring him back to you. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. Okay. What am I going to do? Find out where the tieflings are being held in Moonrise Towers. We learned from Bex that some of the tieflings, including a lover Dennis, uh, were taken to Moonrise Towers to investigate. Okay. Okay. I'm just exploring the surroundings before I head into the inn. As I, as I. Harper Nicer. You need something? Ask Jahira. 
I'm on duty. Generic, okay. They have Arpar Tieflings and whatnot. Okay. I think we're hearing voices from people inside the inn or something. You guys are bad at keeping food properly stored, aren't you? Yes, they are. So many containers. Nothing there. Okay, who is this? Oh, Barkus! And there's a guy called Mattis as well. There's a way up here. I'm guessing you're just generic as well. to see the dark spitting out more than shadows. Welcome. The first pleasant person. Holy crap. Thank you, sir. Okay. I think we have... Ex... Oh, no, we haven't. Harper Megan. He was joking this morning. Oh. Jonas and me. Give her time to speak. He was always joking. Said it was good for morale. That he just liked seeing people laugh. It was a good harper. A good friend. Sounds like you were close. We were. Comrades in arms. I thought we could have been something more one day, but too late now. I'm sure he knew. I'm sure he cared for you as well. I don't know. I never will. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, tragic love. Shadow Heart is inspired. Let me just steal some of your gifts here from the <laughs> from your dead lover. Oh, there's an entire what? Oh, you can't get here? Really? Okay. That saddens me. Okay. I'm not gonna enter the inn through here, but I am curious to see what this does. Queen of Ravens. Highlighted from the other chapters in this work by gorgeous little pictures and artistic renditions of the events described, you can read the following. In that time of shattered allegiances between elven gods, and with the adulation of the Shadarkai elves in her pocket, the woman bid her followers elevate her to godhood. Do it, and I'll reforge our broken pantheon, she said. Do it, and I'll make things sweet and synchronous again. And they did, all but the dissenters in her avid flock who during the ritual of godly ascension tried to wrest power from the woman. At the crucial moment she tore the dissenters apart. With the ritual irrevocably disturbed, the queen and her, sh and her Shadar Kai found themselves flung across the plains into the eerie and terrible realm called the Shadowfell. The journey killed her, yet from the corrupted ashes she rose, a queen with both her eyes and her serving birds as dark as her ambition. So was born the Raven Queen, mistress of life and death. I wonder if it's going to be useful at some point. What? Ah, oh, it's on the inside. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just exploring a little bit here. Ooh. What have we... Oh. This is all not considered stealing. Okay, I'm just gonna go there via normal means instead of trying to be Spider-Man. Really, are you gonna make me take damage? You know what? I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> okay. To the inn we go. 
blood this is heavy. I think I've spoken to you, right? Time for a chat. I'd not tarry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I did. We saw the bear. The trolls report more activity among the cultists oh. this month. Preparing to march, I wager. Seems that way. Really? You don't mind me taking this stuff? Last light's best bargain okay. right here. I don't wander far. I feel like this should be counted as stealing. Sup, dude? Check it out. We've gone legitimate and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? You got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention oh. it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. Hmm. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack -a day This guy is a proper swindler. Persuasion. If it was worth any coin, do you think Maul would have given it to you? Yes, let's deceive children. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maul knows it will be safer with me, and so do you. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought... Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Like Shy. taking How candy from children. <laughs> A tower-shaped key. In the market for something special? Yeah, yeah. What else do you have? Yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Okay. Not very high standards. What do you have? Evasive... Ooh. Armor class plus one? Just like that. Just like that. Actually, I'm going to see what kind of shoes we have on. Spoon of saltiness. When salting food, the better of this shadow cursed utensil will always add too little or too much, but never the right amount. Truly the deviousness is top tier. <laughs> the hell? Decanter of nearly endless water. This decanter can in fact sometimes run out endless water. However, it will definitely regain its properties next day. The day after, for sure. <laughs> this is all... This is all lies. Cloak of Cunning Broom. When the weather disengages, they also create a foggy cloud with 2 meter radius that lasts for one turn. Does it obscure? Do I care about this? It's like a free inclusion for 160 gold. So I think I'll take it. Now, as for the evasive shoes... Pleasure. Do yeah, 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 yeah. Trinkets and doodars. Or does this just do nothing? Okay, I'm curious. We'll leave soon. We don't want any surprises. I'm gonna quick save. Just in case this yes, makes somebody go hostile or something. So disengage. Oh. Yeah, it blinds. Okay, this could actually be an interesting item. Um, it can stay with me. It can stay with me. As for the shoes, I like these. This one I don't really care that much about. I wonder if it stacks with the cloak. No, 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 not, not you, not you, not you, you. Where am I needed? What are you looking for? Okay. Oh, enough waiting. I crave this is the time to find out. It does stack. What happens? Has caught this guard's eye. Time to explain yourself or face the consequences. What spell casting? I think it was the it was the cloak, wasn't it? Try and talk your way out of it. Persuasion. Everybody's casting that spell nowadays. It's all the rage out in Eltrail. 
if it fails, I would just quick load because it doesn't make any sense. This time, but next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't be so lucky. Who cares? Um, a map of the Shadowlands on the Greater Healing Potion. There's Jahida, High Harper of Baldur's Ga level eight. She has the blessing of Selune. Selune's radiance protects against the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse. But beware, even her light cannot guard against the darkest shadows. Melee caster. Instead of its excited modifier, the affected entity adds its spell casting ability modifier to attack rolls. That's good, because she is a druid. Okay. Could come in handy. It could come in handy. Okay, map. An old map of the region, which was corrected by hand as the surroundings were explored. The notes include The entrance to the city is blocked by a powerful curse. Moonrise, a hub of wickedness. Toll house, embankment, point of attack. Distillery, supplies. Abandoned house, the shadows lengthen. Can I take this with me? Thank you. And on the greater healing potion. I cannot reach it, for real. Okay. We have Maul Raphael Bracus Kitty, His Majesty. Hiss. I say hiss. Hiss. <laughs> What's got your whiskers in a twist? This is my territory, and you're in it. My intentions are pure. I only wanted to admire you up close. Mm. Mm. I love it. I'll allow it. And I, I like the personality they give to the animals. Quite a specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. I like him. Let's quietly admire the cat. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Hiss. Hiss. <laughs> you seem like someone who knows what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. The cleric? She me a bit of milk. Oh. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. I love him. I love him. The hiss is, is so good. Hiss, I say. Hiss. <laughs> ah, you found your way. Good. I told you I'd help rescue Wolverine and the others. This is my first stop. I haven't forgotten. And as it happens, I was making something to help you on your way. Oh, do that tell. Is, if you're still going to help Wolverine and the others. You seem to be having a little bit of trouble with that pickaxe, dead friend. Of course I am. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All mm. the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll okay. need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it. If you're going to save Wolbrin. How did deep gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those... Okay, so we knew this already, right? If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well... With you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you... I hope will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Okay. Anything I can do to help? Unless you've got access to a 300-year-old Tempusian apothecarial almanac? No. I don't think I have but one, no. That's for me to worry about. You... You do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. That dismissive... Hand wave. What now? Show me your wares, dude. 
Is the brilliant retort ready? No. <laughs> and pestering the craftsman won't speed things up. Okay. I'm sure you would. Arrow of Dragon Slaying deals double damage to dragons. Interesting. Spoilers also. Uh, strength saving throws and circuit circuitry interface. You are considered a construct. Your weapon attack rolls have advantage and you re have resistance to lightning damage. Ooh, that could be cool because we have that weapon from the construct on top of the arcane tower from the Underdark. But it would require me to equip the weapon and then use... Uh, but your attack rules have advantage. That's no joke. 667. I'll consider it, to be honest. Acrobat shoes, not bad. Persuasion and deception. Yep. Premium trinkets and doodars. Potion of speed, sure, for 46 gold, I'll take it. Take one of those as well. Okay. Now, if you're done rifling through my things. Uh-huh. Wait, so it... Last yes. Okay. Uh, what else did he... Uh, sorry, what did he have? What's it? Gloves or boots? No, I'm sure you would. Yeah, gloves. Circuitry interface. Man, advantage on every single attack for 10 turns? That is very nice. Very, very nice. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. But 600... Okay, I'll try and keep these in mind. I'll probably forget about them. But for now, they're gonna stay here. Okay. Well, uh, a lot of stuff to see, a lot of people to talk to. Uh, I can't actually do any more in this episode. And I still have more people to speak with. Uh, that will be for the next one. My friends, this will be the end of this episode. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything at all, you know what to do, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There are more videos coming out very, very soon, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.